At last, the halls of fiction. I'll just take a quick look inside. I love what they've done with the place. Oh my, what have we here? Ah, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This will work perfectly. My plans are coming together, and the fiction fixers have no idea. There is nothing they can do to stop me. Nothing at all. Welcome to the Fiction Fixers. Cadet, we have a high-priority case for you, and I'm not going to send you in there alone and unprepared. Fixer Phoebe will be accompanying you. She is one of the department's finest. I'll be shadowing you on this assignment. Don't worry, you'll have an extra set of eyes and ears in the field. No one will even know I'm there, except you. We will also be outfitting you with the proper Fiction Fixer equipment. Let's get started. Fixers, there was a massive break-in at the Halls of Fiction, and many valuable books were stolen. We have reason to believe that an illiterati agent is behind this headache. Of the books stolen, you two will be heading into an important classic, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Use this dossier to keep notes of your findings as you go. Sure thing, Chief. Oh, that reminds me. Cadet, here is your fictionizer. This device allows you to interact inside the story. And lastly, don't forget your map. This map has important indicators and tips on where you can go next, should you get stuck. All right, fixers. Pick up anything important along the way and stop that illiterati agent. Now get in there and get to work. We'll do our best, Chief. Let's get going, partner. Doing all right, partner? Your first fictionizing can be a bit rough, but it gets easier. It looks like Alice has already gone into the rabbit hole. Let's find it and get down there. Whoa! This is one big rabbit hole. I don't see Alice anywhere. She must be further down. Pick up as many heavy objects as you can so we can catch up to her. You did it! There she is! We're catching up! Oh, is she asleep? That's probably for the best. I guess we'll meet her at the bottom then. Now we need to keep our eyes open for this illiterati agent and fix what they're changing. Wait, 
Who is that? Ah, fiction fixers. They sent you to try and stop me. Laughable at best. Hold it right there. Come and get me, fiction fixers. Oh no, he stuffed the leaf pile full of sharp objects. We need to get them out of there so Alice doesn't land on them. That'll do it. Alice should land safely. I do wonder how far I've fallen, and I wonder where I could possibly be. I say, who are you? Are you lost down this rabbit hole as well? Come now, I'm sure that white rabbit knows the way. Let's find him. Here we are, the famous glass table. But where's the key? The shrinking potion is gone too? Quick, make a new one so Alice can go down there and look for the key. Let's give Alice the shrinking potion. Next, click on the shrinking potion. Now, click on... Well, this bottle doesn't appear to be poison. I suppose this cannot be bad for me. Oh, what a curious feeling. I must be shutting up like a telescope. Oh my, I hope I don't keep shrinking, otherwise I won't exist at all.
I'll eat this, and if it makes me bigger, I should be back to normal size. I think she ate a bit too much of that cake. How am I ever going to get down? Hello down there, feet. I do wonder if I will ever see you again. I'm late. I'm terribly late. I'll never make it to the Queen's Garden at this rate. There's that curious rabbit. I wonder where he's off to. Perhaps I should drink a little less this time. That certainly is much better. I would love to follow that rabbit to the Queen's Garden, as I am certain it is lovely. But which way did he go? I'll bet he went behind this curtain. Oh my, there are so many doors. How will I ever find that rabbit? Oh my! Who is that? There he is! The Literati agent! We meet again, fiction fixers. I see you're making some progress. Well, that stops right now. <laughs> <laughs> Strange man stole the signs. I couldn't possibly know which way to go. Well, Alice isn't going any further till we fix this. So let's see if we can find those signs.
Now would be a good time to check the map. Click the map button. The blinking circle indicates your current location. The exclamation points indicate areas that currently require investigation. Sometimes backtracking will be necessary. We should expect to visit areas more than once. Let's close the map and check out those areas. I simply cannot walk down a road that does not have a sign. What if I get lost and cannot find my way back? Oh no! Oh no! I'm late! But how late am I? My watch it appears to be broken! My whiskers! Oh, if only I had the proper pieces! It could be fixed! Look! It's the White Rabbit! Oh, we must help him fix his watch! <laughs> Oh 
Oh no! Oh no! I'm late! But how late am I? My watch it appears to be broken! My whiskers! Oh, if only I had the proper pieces! It could be fixed! You've done it! You fixed my watch! Oh, my dear paws! Oh, my fur and whiskers, I'm late! She'll have me executed! I must hurry to the garden! Oh, Marianne, would you run in and fetch me a pair of gloves and a fan? Marianne? He took me for his housemaid. He'll be surprised when he finds out who I am. But I'd better take him his fan and gloves, if I can find them. <laughs> How are we to get by with all these thick trees in the way? I wonder if we can find something to cut them down. How are we to get by with all... I simply cannot walk down a road that does not have a sign. What if I get lost and cannot find my way back? Oh, I thought we got all of these the last time. Might as well clean them up, just to be safe.
my, a giant puppy! I would love to play with him if only I had a toy for him to chew on. Look at his fur. The poor thing is covered in bugs. Now's our chance. Let's get some of those bugs off of him. Ew! I've never seen so many bugs in my life. Wait, what is that in his fur? That was so gross! I can't believe you did that! Now where can his gloves and fun be? Look, what did Alice get into now? I found another bottle. I wonder what this one will do. I know something interesting is bound to happen. Uh-oh, not again. That's quite enough. I hope I don't grow anymore. I cannot get out of the door. Oh, I do wish I hadn't drunk quite so much. Alice has made a mess of this house. We need to find something to shrink her down or we'll never get out of here.
If I eat this cake, it's sure to make some change in my size. Hopefully it will bring me down to the proper size. Dear me, am I back to normal now? It's becoming hard to tell. Marianne! Wait, wait! You're not Marianne! Thank you, kind girl! No, sir, I am not Marianne, but you are welcome. Dear me, I'm late! I must be off to the Queen before it's off with my head! Wait, excuse me, sir. Which way is it to the Queen's garden? Oh, he's already gone. We must find him.
wonder where this door will take us. Perhaps this is the one that brings us to that lovely garden. Well, I say, who are you? And where are you off to? Oh my, a talking caterpillar? My name is Alice, sir. I'm trying to find my way to the Queen's lovely garden. I might be able to help you if you can help me as well. What could I possibly help you with, sir? You see, I've misplaced an old pipe that is very important to me. I believe it to be lost somewhere very near, my dear. Excuse me, sir. Is this what you were looking for? Oh, many, many thanks, kind girl. Might you tell me where to find the Queen's Garden? Since you were so kind, I'll tell you a riddle. Should you solve it, your way will be a bit more clear. A riddle? I do love riddles. Well done, well done. I happen to have a key to a door that should bring you one step closer to your goal. Thank you, sir. Until we meet again, I hope you find your way.
Maybe this time I can get to the Queen's Garden. For the Duchess, an invitation from the Queen to play croquet. I don't see any invitation, good sir. If I may ask, what are you playing at? Well, I, I had an invitation in a rather large envelope. Where has it gone? I wonder if that nasty man has something to do with this. Well, I had an invitation in a rather large envelope. Where has it gone? I simply cannot walk Here is your letter, sir. Why, thank you, little girl. Ah, yes, yes. Where were we? As I was saying, an invitation from the Queen to play croquet. I thank you, good sir, on behalf of the Duchess. I shall see that this is delivered immediately. I bid you good day, sir. Sir? Might I go in to see the Duchess about the Queen's Croquet game? Indeed might you. Simply go up to the door and enter. Oh my, there's far too much pepper in the... 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 the air. Far too much? There is not enough! That chef has not cooked a good soup in ages! Pig here is terribly upset because of it. How am I to play croquet with the Queen when Pig is hungry like this? Croquet with the Queen? That sounds wonderful. Oh, Pig, behave yourself. This is one grumpy baby. That chef needs to get to work and make me a meal.
What do you want? The Duchess says that your soup has been quite off lately. I lost my soup recipe and I have no idea where it is. A lost recipe is certainly a bother. I wonder if we can help.
A chef indeed. You made the soup perfectly. <laughs> Finally, a good soup. This one has just the right amount of pepper and spices. This is a bit too much pepper for my personal liking. Find me outside and we can discuss this queen and this garden. Well, hello down there. Hello to you too. You must see me, but I do not see you. Come now, you see. If you try a bit harder, I'm sure you'll see me. Ah, well done, well done. Here I am, the Cheshire Cat. Now, what would you ask of me? Cheshire Puss, can you tell me, please, which way do I go from here to play croquet? Oh, have you not been invited? No, sir, I haven't. I have a clue for you, I think. Should you make it to the game, you will see me there. <laughs> this is simply an outrage. It must be dealt with immediately. I will not stand for it. Absolutely no good can come from any of this. Excuse me, sirs, but what seems to be the problem? <sighs> oh, yes, no good at all. How could you possibly sleep at a time like this? A man in black has stolen the special teacups and ruined our tea time. How are we to have tea without the proper tea settings? Oh, he's stolen something from you too? I wonder if I might be of any help in finding them. <laughs>
So, we meet again. Sir, some very important teacups went missing and I'm trying to find them. I know a riddle of some brothers that were also lost in the woods. Answer it for me and I may be able to help you. Oh, 
I have something here that should help you. You found all the teacups? Then tea time shall commence at 2.30. However, any time is tea time, and all the time indeed. Oh, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Are you still sleeping? This is a momentous occasion! Any time is a perfect time for tea, you see. 
Please take this gift to you from me. Could this be finally it? The door to the lovely garden? Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh no! He made vines grow over the door! <laughs> The garden at last. It's beautiful. Look out! You're going to knock over the paint. Well, it wasn't me. He hit my elbow. Oh, we're doomed. The queen will be here any minute and we're out of paint. Oh, it will be off with our heads. Off with their heads? I wouldn't like that at all. There must be more paint. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
glasses. They're all red. You've done it. Oh, and not a moment too soon. Here she comes. The, the queen! queen! The, the queen! queen! Who is this girl? Alice, your majesty. Alice, you say? Off with her head! I think her head will stay in place and intact, my dear. Fine then, go. Can you play croquet? Yes, I can, your majesty. Very well. I shall see you there at the croquet grounds shortly. Places! Everyone, get to their places and get their mallets ready! I do not seem to have a mallet, Your Majesty. Find a proper mallet, or it's off with your head! So we meet again, I see. Oh, Cheshire Puss, I don't have the proper mallet to play croquet, and the rude queen is threatening me. Well then, I think I can help you with the mallet, but I cannot promise to help with the queen. Find a proper mallet, or it's off with your head! I have the proper mallet, Your Majesty. It would appear you do, and it's lucky for you. Let the croquet begin, or it's off with your heads!
Me, your majesty, I most certainly did not cheat. Come now, dear. I'm sure she didn't cheat at croquet. The treacle tarts! The treacle tarts have been stolen! The treacle tarts are gone? A trial! A trial shall be had! Come now, to the courtroom, and whoever did this, it's off with our heads! <laughs> Silence in the court! Oh no! Oh dear! I seem to be missing my trumpet! The trial cannot start without it! Poor, poor rabbit! May I help you find it? My fur and whiskers indeed! Young girl, please take this and find my trumpet! <laughs>
You found it! Oh, my ears! The trial can begin. Let the trial begin. What is the accusation? The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them quite away. I've done nothing. I, I, I'm innocent. I'm sure he did not steal the treacle tarts. That nasty man must be behind this. I wonder where he hid them. <laughs>
Hello again. Is there something wrong? Sir, the trickle tots have gone missing. Missing something again? I know a riddle of lobsters once missing, dancing their way back home to the sea. If you solve it, I might be able to point you in the right direction. Very good, very good. Indeed, I shall help you once more. Take this and be on your way. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
has the jury reached a verdict? The treacle tarts are gone! Off with his head! They are not missing! The treacle tarts are right over there on that table! Enough! Who are you, barging in here like this? Off with his head! You wouldn't leave it alone. You just had to keep, keep fixing things, didn't you? I will destroy this story by any means necessary. There is no stopping Victor Vile this time, fiction fixers. Let go of me! Help! He took Alice. Quick, we need to find him. He had to leave something behind. Look! Up on the ceiling! What is that?
like you activated some sort of portal. I bet this is where he went. Let's go! Whoa, where did that portal take us? Come on, let's find Alice. This is one creepy place. Alice must be here. We need to find a way inside. Open. Let's get in there and stop him. Oh no! What is he doing to Alice? You're too late, fiction fixers. 
This device will drain the very essence of Alice and even Wonderland itself, allowing me to travel into more books and destroy more stories. There's nothing you can do to stop me. It looks like his device is powered by evil objects. If there was a way for you to get them out of there, you could shut it down. Look! There's a hole in the energy shield! Hurry! We have to stop him before Alice runs out of energy! A mere setback. You won't stop me. Look! Another gap in the energy shield! Try as you might, Fiction Fixers. I cannot be stopped. There's another gap in the energy shield. Hurry!
What? This can't be happening! Impossible! You did it! You stopped his machine! You may have foiled my plans this time, Fiction Fixers, but you haven't seen the last of Victor Vile and the Illiterati! Quick! Grab Alice and let's get out of here! There she is, safe and sound. <laughs> All in a day's work as a fiction fixer. Let's get back to the precinct. I'm sure the chief will want to hear all about this. Congratulations, fiction fixers. Wonderland is safe again. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Great job in there, partner. While I'm sure we haven't seen the last of him, you foiled Victor Vile's plans for now. We'll put aside as many resources as possible to find out where he went. You'll be the first to know if we hear anything. Now go take a break. You deserve it. Ha 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 ha!